Welcome to our data transformation tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many newcomers to data handling often ask. Our viewer is looking to understand how to pivot multi-column data before sending it to the user interface for display. The viewer's question highlights two main parts of the problem. First, forming the header, and second, pivoting the data to match that header. It's essential to grasp these concepts to effectively transform your data. As we dive deeper, we'll explore some important considerations. The viewer has static columns that should remain unchanged, dynamic columns that need to be pivoted for a multi-level header, and value columns that contain the actual data. Plus, there's no limit to how many of each type can exist. So, whether you're new to pivoting or just looking to refine your skills, this video will guide you through the process step by step. Let's get started. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. on. To begin our multi-column data transformation, we need to understand the structure of our data. We have static columns, dynamic columns, and value columns. Static columns will remain unchanged, while dynamic columns will be pivoted to form our header. Let's first focus on forming the header. We will create a list to hold our header information, which consists of combinations of dynamic columns. In our example, we have two dynamic columns. Next, we will pivot the data to match the header we just created. This involves iterating through our data and organizing it according to the static and dynamic columns while also aligning the value columns appropriately. Remember, there is no limit to the number of static, dynamic, and value columns. This flexibility allows us to adapt our data transformation to various scenarios. Just ensure that the data is structured correctly before pivoting. Finally, let's look at a sample of our dummy data. This will help us visualize how the transformation takes place and how the final output will look after pivoting. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Let's explore a link approach for multi-column data transformation. First, we select and parse our data into a structured format. Next, we group the data by regions and create a lookup for products and their values. This allows us to sum values for specific product combinations. Finally, we select the desired output format, ensuring to sum values for specific product item pairs. This gives us a clear structured output. If the number of columns is unknown, we can utilize a header info list to dynamically create our output. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
To transform multi-column data, you can use the NRECO Pivot Data Library. First, install the nreco.pivotdata NuGet package. Then, define a mapping of field names to their indices. Next, create a multidimensional dataset using the Pivot Data class, grouping by your desired dimensions and specifying the value to aggregate. After processing the data, create a pivot table model with specified row and column dimensions. You can then access the pivot table's values and headers. Finally, you can render the pivot table to HTML or other formats using the Pivot Data Toolkit. Remember, the library is free for single deployment projects, but advanced features require a commercial license. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, we explore multi-column data transformation using c -sharp. We start with a two-dimensional array containing global sales data for various products and items. We define row and column headers to organize our data. The goal is to pivot this data for better analysis. Using Link, we create a pivot table that groups the data by specified headers. This allows us to summarize sales figures for each product and item combination. The initial approach can be inefficient due to string concatenations. A custom comparer can optimize this process, making it significantly faster. Finally, we display the results, showing the sales figures for each product and item combination in a structured format. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To transform multi-column data efficiently, we can use a multi-dimensional array. We'll take a functional approach, treating the result as an accumulator with a reducer method. This method utilizes dictionaries to map horizontal to vertical transformations and requires validated header information. It's important to fix any duplicate entries in the header. The solution is efficient, taking only one millisecond on average. The code includes setting up static and dynamic column counts and processing data with Link's aggregate method. Finally, the code compares the performance of this method against an accepted answer, showcasing its speed advantage. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.